As a reminder, you'll remember that person one hit together two wooden blocks to make a noise. The sound traveled to the right and was picked up by microphone number one and then a few moments later picked up by microphone number two. You guys measured the distance between the two microphones and you need to record those in the distance column of your data table. Time one will be the time when the sound reached microphone one and time two will be the sound when this will be the time when the sound reached microphone two. When you subtract those two times you will get your elapsed time. Once we get all of our elapsed times we'll take a class average which we will then use to determine the class's speed of sound. Okay, to get time one and time two, what you want to do is go to your logger profiles, pull up these graphs, and then if you need to move your graphs around, you grab the axes when it has the double arrows, and you can move either your right or left axes up or down to make it easier to see. Go to Analyze Examine, then move your mouse along your graph until it looks like the sound first arrived. So for microphone one, which in this case is the red one, I believe the sound arrived at the microphone somewhere around negative point zero 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 three seconds. I believe the sound arrived from microphone two somewhere around point oh oh seven. 0.0077 seconds. That is an elapsed time of 0 0.008 seconds. Remember when you're subtracting a negative time, it is like you're adding the times together. So be very careful with your positive and negatives. Do this for each of your trials and remember you're doing your best judgment call. We'll be averaging them all out to get a class average so hopefully things will work out in the end with the judgments of all the members of your class.